In today's video, I'm talking resistance training and the art of the deload and exactly what that can help you do to bust through your plateaus and continue to get them gains. Yo, what's up guys? You are rocking with Frank Daniels. We are talking the art of the deload and what it can do to help you bust through your plateaus and continue to get those gains. Before I do that, I got a free core training report, nine of my best tips so you can develop a rock solid midsection. You can download that by clicking this button right here. Mobile device users, I've put it, the first link in the description down below. Let's talk deload and what that's all about. I think there's a common misconception amongst trainees. We see a lot of stuff on the internet. We see a lot of memes and things pumping people up. Uh, we tend to think that uh, we have to go into the gym every single day and just simply just crush it. Absolutely every day to like where you're like, you're dragging yourself out of the gym, you're, you're bleeding, you're barely breathing, you're, you're damn near on life support every time you leave the gym. And that's virtually impossible and it's not gonna happen. What you should know about training is that the result happens when you're resting in the recovery. So if you think that you're gonna go balls out to the wall every single training session, nearly impossible. Now any good training program has programmed into it what we call the deload or a deload week. And that's simply a week where you're literally gonna take your foot off the accelerator. So what does that mean really? Well, once again, typical block periodization training usually happens on a four week basis. So sometimes it can be less, sometimes it can be more, but most people operate on like a month to month basis where four weeks um, staying in a specific training structure in order to be able to kind of measure those things on a week to week basis to see if I'm incrementally improving and that would be the goal so most people are in that four-week structure and out of that four weeks in a good training program a deload week is going to be programmed so in that deload week typically what happens is you reduce the percentage of the weights you're lifting um, so if you're normally lifting at hundred percent of your um, rep maximum okay it could be one rep could be three reps could be ten reps whatever it is typically you reduce the, the weight that you're that you're lifting so this can happen a couple different ways. You can reduce the weight, you can reduce the overall uh, volume of you know, the weights that you're lifting. So you know, during an entire workout, you have a certain amount of sets and reps you're doing, you can reduce that volume a little bit so you're not doing as much. And ultimately, you're just reducing the intensity. And that's what a deload is. It gives you the ability to be able to continue to kind of keep your hands on the weights and continue to kind of train, um, but not at 100%. You need to be able to back that up a little bit in order to allow your body, your joints, your mind to be able to recover, regenerate, and then attack those things again on the next week when you start your new block. A good comparison here is speed of a car, right? So if you're normally traveling at 100 miles an hour, when you think deload, you're going to back that up to 60 miles an hour. So you're normally full go, you're normally balls to the wall, you're trying to get everything you can um, out of your body and out of your training and in that deload week you're backing it up and you're cruising at 60 miles an hour So you should be you know a little tired Maybe just work up a little sweat. You got your hands on weights So you're still turning your muscles on you're still doing activity But in no way are you going balls to the wall? So you're backing up from hundred miles an hour to 60 miles an hour Once again to allow your body to recover to regenerate to be able to do it again don't be in the mindset that you are always going to be at full go. It's not going to work for you. You're going to burn out. You're going to hit a wall. You're going to hit a plateau and your joints are probably going to start killing you. You just can't stay at that level all the time. So once again, good programming, good smart training has this deload week in order to be able to help you recover so you can, can continue to move forward from there and get those really good gains. That's what it's all about, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you want more tips on how to build a rock solid core, you can download my free core training report with my nine best tips on how to do that by clicking this link right here. Mobile device users, head down below. Click the first link in the description. Guys, head down below, like, leave a comment. Tell me exactly what you want to see in these videos. And of course, subscribe to this channel. My name is Frank Daniels. Enjoy your day, guys. You're supposed to break bones and ligaments and bleed to death. I think I could record it. And how important that that is that it's important. Have to be shocked back to life with the AED. What's up? 
In today's video, I'm talking